So it's come that time of year, we're going to dive into the Productivity App Awards. Now we've picked out a total of eight award winners this year as our best productivity apps of the year. Now these are ones that have been growing rapidly, have been improving and innovating in the space and I wanted to give them light in this video so you can find a full list of them below. But if you want to watch this categories, you can naturally dive into this video. So folks, my name is Francesca Alessio. Welcome to Keep Productive. I'm super excited to have you here. If you are new here, do subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, we've got some new newsletters that I think you'll enjoy. So let's start off with the best note-taking category. Now, to be honest, in 2022, note-taking space is pretty being pretty crazy. We're getting a lot of artificial intelligence and I guess the growth of the note-taking application market going into the PKM space and much further beyond. But this year, I wanna give the award to Obsidian. I think that Obsidian has done a great job, in particular, by innovating in the space, but also continuing to develop the application, despite it being a free resource out there for people to get started. Now, I think Obsidian definitely deserves this one, and if you're interested in learning it, you can find a link to our course below if you fancy, but definitely this year goes to Obsidian. Number two is the best calendar application. Now, a lot of calendar applications have been released this year and are set to be released in early 2023. But many of them not necessarily available and haven't necessarily brought any fresh innovation to the space or fresh design or fresh looks. And I feel like one has and is actually a sort of bittersweet story because they've been acquired by Notion and you've guessed it, the one I'm giving as the best calendar of the year award is Cron. In terms of design, this application is stunning and it works really functionally well and I think definitely deserves this experience despite the likes of Fantastical doing such a great job in improving and innovating in their application. I think for me, Cron gets this award. This Number three is the best to-do list application. And I definitely thought this year, innovation in the consolidation space has been something that I've been pretty impressed with. Both Sansama, Akiflow, and many more, bringing together the applications has been pretty cool. But I'm gonna go with a more traditional to-do list application this year, and I'm gonna to pick Todoist. I think in the last six months in particular, Todoist has done really well to listen to user feedback and try and innovate on some of the changes that are happening in the productivity planner space. And it seems like they're making that step forward. So this year, my best to-do list app goes to Todoist. Next up is our best assistant application. This can be anything between being a timer or an assistant plugin or a tool that has impressed the market. And this year it's going to Raycast. Raycast is an application that you can use and install on Mac and helps you to type and improve the speed of commands across lots of different applications. And I think this year Raycast takes the winning award. And it's done such a great job with the plugins and integrations that are set to be released as time goes on. But I've been pretty impressed with this application for sure. Number five is the best email apps. And we're gonna look at obviously the whole market. There's been a lot of happening with the email market this year, but I think the launch of Spark, whilst a few technical errors on that launch, Spark's third version, I believe it is, was the most impressive this year. I think as an all round email application, it was good. And now it's really taken that extended step forward and beyond. And I'm really impressed with how Spark 3 has actually impressed a lot of people, but also innovated in the email space. Now, number seven, this is a top riser award. Now, a top riser award is for somebody that has gone beyond and innovated in their experience. Whilst there isn't actually one of these that we've talked about so far, that has necessarily, I guess the categories haven't been allocated in the same way. But this application I'm thinking of doesn't belong to any of those categories in its craft. Craft had done some really great stuff this year from improving the usability of the application to really advancing the core experience, not just for personal, but for teams. And also what they're doing in the background, it seems like they've just done a great job at shipping stuff this year and continuing to stay nimble whilst releasing great updates. So Craft gets the top riser of the year. Now, finally, the AI tool of the year. Now, of course, AI and the use of GPT-3 
is fairly new, but what I want to give this award to is the one that I'm seeing the best practical use case so far. And I believe at the moment, the best practical use case goes to Coda. The open AI abilities and connecting it with buttons and tools is probably where future apps like Notion will go, but I definitely think Coda wins it this year with the late release of this update. Anyway, folks, those were the award winners for 2022. Feel free to share in the comments below or on Twitter what your award winners were and why they were that. It'd be great if you could use the hashtag Keep Productive Awards and share some of your award winners. It'd be great to see why you love the apps that you used or the ones that you have respected in the last year. But a big, big thank you for everyone who replied back on Twitter and naturally shared their thoughts beforehand. And I'm really excited to be doing this one. I like doing these routine awards. It's something that we've done here on Keep Productive pretty regular. Next year, we're going to probably retain a more voting based system that we've done in the past. And the main reason behind that is we're going to democratize it a little bit more, giving you an opportunity. We just had some technical errors in the past with that. So hopefully next year will be the first year we do that. But a big, big thank you for stopping by on today's video. I'm wishing you all the best end to 2022 and the best fresh start to 2023. Thank you very much, folks, and talk to you all in a future video. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you're interested in checking out some more, you'll find them here. And also you can subscribe to as well. It'd be great to have you here to optimize your tool. And if you're interested in our new email newsletters or our Bento application, or even Tool Finder, which is a new tool that we've created to help you find the perfect productivity tool, you can find it linked in the description.